Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest coins anywhere, check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. the first gameplay of the year and man we're starting off with a banger we have warren sap ed reed sherman and devin hester now i do not give a shout out to bobby miller for being a part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are subbed to the channel turn the notification bell on and comment down below noti gang also while you guys are watching this video you only have a couple of hours left to sign up on underdog fantasy using code zerk which will match first deposit up to hundred dollars and will allow you to get this anthony richardson 0.5 yard special you have until his game starts at 7 p.m. Eastern Time to sign up, use code Zerk, and get the special. That's what I'm rocking. Also, you can find down below in the comment section a link to my giveaway. I'm running for $1,000 in Underdog Fantasy Funds. Just retweet that tweet, follow myself at Underdog over on Twitter, and comment down below on that tweet your guys' Underdog username. I'm picking winners on the morning of September 10th. Now, as you guys can see, we have all these cards on the team. Richard Sherman right here. Now, in terms of abilities, here's the thing. Abilities at the beginning of the year are not really crazy. So, some of these cards, right, like Sherman... I don't really think are worth using the AP on, and the abilities that he gets, I just personally don't use in my scheme. So yes, I have universal coverage on him, but aside from that, I'm actually not using abilities. 86 speed, 83 excel, 85 agility, 93 zone. If you're wondering, how'd you get plus three zone? Strategy cards, and also coach. I have a plus two zone strategy card to corners, and a coach that gives plus one zone to all players. He also has 85 press, six foot three. Now, if he got deep out zone, I would use that on him. Uh, but in terms of abilities, guys, for me personally, like pick artist for two AP, uh, he gets deep end zone, flat zone KO. So if you use him, you know, to cover the flats, that's cool. But for me, he's mostly going to be in a deep blue. So at most, I could throw a pick artist on him. I just don't really think it's worth using the 2 AP on him right now. Hopefully, he should just catch the picks. We'll see about that. Although, to be honest, I very well could end up putting that on him. Then we also have Ed Reed, 87 speed, 88 excel. Crazy. 91 zone again, plus one zone from my coach. 87 hit power right here. 80 block shed. I mean, the card is just cracked out of his mind. Now, in terms of abilities, again, I wish he got deep out zone, but he only gets deep in zone. Then again, flat zone KO. Uh, gets pick artist there, mid zone. But we're going to run deep in. He should be in the middle of the field, but it literally only will activate in between those numbers so it's really really tough and then we also have warren sap who is just gonna be a monster 90 block shed 87 power move 81 speed 82 excel and in terms of abilities guys we're running unpredictable on him it's an ability that i used last year it worked pretty well he does get goal line stuff run stopper no outsiders i wish uh that he did actually get inside stuff we need 92 block shed for that which is just unfortunate is what it is but we'll see how well unpredictable works this year uh also by the way there is no legends team cam and finally we have devin hester on the team i'm very excited for this guy i'm gonna use him exactly like i've been using Kadarius tony and tony's been a monster so hester should just be a better Kadarius tony 87 speed 87 excel 90 deep route running amazing after the catch and you know we got him on kick returns as well uh in terms of abilities on him i am running yak him up and then deep out elite I'll be honest, I don't even know if you really need to use deep out elite and deep in elite right now because not a lot of people are using KOs on their team simply because of the AP cost. And my receiver's been catching a lot of stuff on those sidelines, you know, hanging on to balls, getting hit, whatever. So I don't even really know if you need to run deep out on him. But we're going to let's get into this all right so let's get into this as you guys can see that's my opponent's top three with kenny pickett jefferson and eric berry and my top three it looks deceiving because i may have some studs but uh i'm still waiting on my rookie premiere so about 90 percent of my team are 80 to 82 overall core elites and i'm not kidding i literally have like 80 to 82 overall core elites at a majority of my team right now except for or in sap right there dt now i will say as well when we get out on offense i do have a bad habit of especially when i do gameplays trying to absolutely force feed the ball to you know whoever i'm doing the gameplay with so although yes as sap gets the not the sack but he gets the hit and the forced fumble big time play right there from warren sap wish we could have got that fumble but yes i'm gonna try my very best to get the ball to devin hester at the same time i'm not going to absolutely force feed him every play but make no mistake about it i want him to have at least 10 plus touches in this game that's for sure as I want to see if Warren Sapp can come through and make another crazy play as D. Ware gets a sack. Actually, it's sweat. Second down and 15. I think this guy does like to actually run the ball a little bit with his quarterback as Ramsey missed the tackle. Third down and one coming up. This has got to be a run. Oh, it's actually not a run. That's a little bit surprising right there as nothing's really open. I'm going to come after him with my user. Great play. 
I mean, he, he got open. Kenny Pickett could throw. All right, so great throw right there out of Kenny Pickett as he's going to run the football now. He's probably going to end up scoring. For those of you guys that have played Madden 24 online at all right now, head-to-head, -head, mud champs, it doesn't matter. Pretty much, I'll say 90% of the games, uh, most people score 25 plus. That's not an overstatement. I've played quite a few games already, and pretty much every single game, uh, the ending score has been like 20 something to 20 something as we force a fumble and Demarcus Ware picks it up. Well, the second fumble that we forced in that drive, we actually picked that one up though, but now let's try to get the ball into Devin Hester's hands. And maybe I should have kept it going to the outside. But we're definitely going to try to get the ball to Hester. I'm going to run an RPO right here. I'm still going to try to run the ball. Still going to try to get the ball to other people as well as Stevenson, a couple of yards. And now on third down and five, let's see if we can get the ball to Devin Hester. Great throw. Yeah, I seriously cannot wait to get my rookie premiere CJ Stroud. I'll tell you guys that. But Devin Hester's open with the catch. Big time play right there from Devin Hester. Now, oh, he's going to be open. Devin Hester, Devin Hester, can he come down with it? No, he can't. I was really trying to go deep to Devin right there. Once again, though, I mean, we might be able to go to him. Nope, he's not going to be open. Jefferson, what a catch. I honestly thought that one right there was going to be an overthrow too, but now let's try to run the football a little bit with Ramondre, try to bounce this to the outside. Ramondre Stevenson, fight for me. Let's go down to the five. All right. So down to the five yard line. I want to get Devin Hester into the end zone. I know we're going to in this gameplay as Hester. Wow. I tried my best to get him the ball right there. That did not work out. Let's go back to that one play that I like to run. This seems to work pretty well and never mind. Didn't work that time either. All right. So that didn't work. Let's see if we're able to get anything going right here as I don't see anything open. And yeah, we're just going to take our three. But we ended up getting stuffed there on the goal line. Couldn't do anything. We'll take our three points. So we'll take our three points right there. Like I said, you know, most games that I have played, honestly, both people end up scoring 20 plus. So Make no mistake about it. We're going to get into that end zone with Hester. Let's see if this guy tries to actually run the football, though. Definitely has enough time to. And Warren Sapp, although, yeah, didn't really make a difference on that play. He's getting through that line, which is absolutely amazing to see. Second and 11 coming up, though. Let's see if this guy is, is going to try to, like, scramble or anything with Kenny Pickett again. Looking out over the middle. I'm all over that. And come on, I'm right there, Pickett. I was really, really hoping that uh, Jalen Ramsey would come over and just grab that right there out of the air. As nothing else is open, we get a hit. Okay, fourth down and 11 coming up here. I'm all over Hawkinson. He's going to try to take off. Got to send pressure at him. And J.C. Horn... I actually kind of wish that I didn't go for the interception there. I would have just batted that down. But we get a really good return anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. All right, so let's see what we can do. Obviously, I want to try to get the ball to Devin Hester right now and uh, see if we can just keep moving the ball with him as he is going to be open underneath right here for about 10. So far, nothing too crazy with Devin, but trust me, we're going to try to go deep. That's for sure. Definitely going to try to go deep with him as we have Mark Andrews open underneath here. Hit a little juke move. Tried to stiff arm. All right, second down and eight. Last play. We got the ball to Hester for two yards, so it wasn't really anything too crazy right there. I'm going to look to go to him here, and actually, we're going to have Jefferson toe tap for the TD. So I know it wasn't Devin Hester, but we did end up scoring a touchdown right there as he's running a play action, and he's about to get his own Jefferson open. And we've only got a minute and 40 seconds, so we just have to make sure we don't let this guy get down the field too quickly here. I'm looking out over the middle. Once again, he's going to get that open. Thank you, Kenny Pickett. I feel like with the speed of defensive backs right now, it's really, really hard to, you know, use her on like crossing routes and stuff. It's just very, very hard to actually get over there as we get a sack. Thank you very much, Zadaria Smith. I greatly appreciate that sack. Third down and 18. I'm going to send an extra blitzer at him. Hopefully that'll make a little bit of a difference as, wow, great throw. Honestly, just a really, really good throw right there. A minute and three seconds left. He's now down closing into the goal line as he's at the 30 and he's gonna run a read option all right interesting play call and he fumbles the ball that's what happens when you don't slide we fumbled the football as he was having a really really good drive we're down to the 21 and oh i want to throw that so bad oh look at why look at justin jefferson just sitting open right here no one around him we're gonna hit a couple of juke moves though justin jefferson that was absolutely disgusting wow i think my opponent guys is about to get out of here and to be honest i don't even blame him 
that was nasty. So while I don't have time to actually go ahead and hop into another full game so I can edit this video and get it up for you guys, I'm gonna hop into a house rules game here because I feel like I didn't really get enough of Devin Hester in that gameplay. But wow, Justin Jefferson just stole the show. And especially because in house rules here, I don't really have to worry if I lose because if I lose, it's just whatever. So we are definitely going to try to get the ball to Devin Hester as much as possible. I wish that I had, you know, a better quarterback than Bryce Young because unfortunately uh, with that like deep uh, throw power, whatever the deep accuracy, it's a little bit tough as we do get the interception right here with Buda Baker. Let's see what we can do now. I'm going to get the ball here to Devin Hester and see what he can do with the ball in his hands as we are going to get some pretty good blocks. Get in the open open field Devin Hester off to the races try to juke back inside he didn't click on I think we should be able to get this ball here to Devin Hester I'm definitely gonna try to and Hester there we go a touchdown I really feel like that's obviously how you want to use Devin Hester right you don't really want to try to go for contested catches with him get the ball in his hand and try to throw to him deep which unfortunately so we just haven't been able to really you know chuck it deep to him here I'm gonna try and we get the ball back I also really wish that my opponent would throw Richard Sherman or, you know, maybe Ed Reed, but unfortunately so, that's kind of the thing when it comes to defensive game plays. You can't force your opponent to throw it like a DB or something as DeAndre Swift just kind of sitting open right there trying to go for that strip. Second down coming up now. Let's see what he's going to try to go to. I think he might try to throw it deep here. I'm going to use her on curl. Really don't think he's going to try to run the football. And he does throw it. Ed Reed with the breakup. Oh, Ed Reed with the pass breakup right there. Good to see. Although it looked like he was actually going to go for an interception. That would have been even cooler. As that's going to be a user pick by me with Cameron Kerr. I'm going to go down. And luckily for me, he didn't quit the game. And now I'm going to try to go deep to Devin. It's not going to work, is it? Yeah. That's kind of the thing right now is you maybe don't have necessarily the throw power and everything that you need uh, to really take advantage of a guy like Devin Hester every single play. But there, good catch. Fourth down and 14 coming up. I'm definitely looking to go to Devin. Let's see if I can hit him on a high ball and... Yeah, that's the thing. They dropped those. I really want to blame Devin Hester there. For those of you guys that don't know, they actually severely nerfed high passes this year because they've been just, you know, way too overpowered the last couple of years. That should be an interception. That's crazy. I only highballed it there so that way I can make it over his user. I thought he was kind of lurking it a little bit underneath. And unfortunately, when you do so this year, sometimes they just drop it. So unfortunate, but it is what it is. Third down and 15 coming up. Let's see if we can get a hit on this guy, get a sack, something as good tackles. All right, fourth down now. What is this guy going to go to? Who is he looking to throw the ball to to pick up this first down? And he does hike it right before the two-minute warning. What is going on, my user? I don't know. That was weird. We get a sack. Now, I'm going to try to run another RPO right here and get the ball to Devin Hester if we can. I think we should be able to get the ball in Hester's hands and try to break a tackle after the catch. I really, really want to try to throw the ball deep and just get it to Devin Hester, man. I'm going to try something crazy. Hester with the catch. Let's go. And let's just punch this one into the goal line here with a little QB sneak from Bryce Young. Devin Hester, though, nice catch. We didn't get in. All right, let's try that again. I just ran no huddle. Let's see if we can push it in again. And there we go. I gotta say, obviously, we didn't see too much from Ed Reed and Richard Sherman. It just happens. When you do defensive players for game plays, they sometimes just don't make plays. It is what it is. But Devin Hester, when you get the ball in his hands, man, he can be electric. Obviously, as a returner, he is very, very good. Uh, especially with the way the kick returns are this year. Yeah, that card's really good. Warren Sapp, though, I noticed quite a bit in there, really in the run game uh, as well. So I like the Warren Sapp card a lot. Reed did make a play on that one ball, didn't get the pick, and then Sherman in there as well. Uh, and also Devin Hester, but man, Justin Jefferson, that card kind of stole the show. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it, hit that sub button down below. Make sure you guys are subbed to this channel because of course, it's not my main channel. This is Xerxy 2. Hit that sub button down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.